I was born in Mexico City. My dad wanted a better life for us, so he brought us down here. I came here when I was eight years old. I was about 15 when I started really drinking. My life for a long time consisted of waking up and drinking, and it was taking over my life. I was getting pulled over more. The police recognized my face right away and checked me for drugs or alcohol. I landed in jail twice. The first time I went, I thought I was never gonna go back. I had made up my mind, but it didn't turn out to be that way. The second time, I actually spent three months in jail, so the addictions, like I said, they grab a hold of you pretty hard and don't, don't want to let go. I remember having dreams too as well, like me in a very dark place and just sitting there and I could see as if I was standing in front of myself and seeing the sorrow and in my face and everything. And I woke up, I was, I was crying because I didn't, I didn't want to feel that anymore. Hi, Mom. <laughs> ¿Cómo está? Bien, hijo. Good, good. This is my mama. <laughs> I probably wouldn't be here if it weren't for my mom. <laughs> Her prayers helped me a lot. Things like that really touched my heart and made me realize how much she loved me. I didn't like putting my mom through. I didn't like her crying because of me. I needed a change. If she's crying, I hope it's for joy, not for sadness. I don't want to break my mom's heart. I started praying for the help I needed to stop my addictions and for the strength that I needed to overcome them. And in my prayers, I would specifically ask Heavenly Father for, for help for someone to help me realize what I need to do. I believe I did receive my answer. A few weeks later, the missionaries came to my home and they knocked. I didn't answer the door, my brother did. I was on my couch, laying down, acting asleep. But during the whole time, I was hearing what they were saying. And the message that they brought felt familiar. I kept thinking, isn't this what I wanted? Isn't this what I prayed for? Isn't this what I needed? I reflect a lot on where I was and where I am now and, and where I want to go. And now, instead of thinking, oh, the future, bummer. Like, oh, here comes another sad day, I think more. There's happiness in my future now. And it brings a smile to my face as I'm working. My name is Valentin. I work hard. I'm sober now, and I'm Mormon. <laughs>